Since our departure from Nim, and our world is changing, we cannot stay here much longer. Jonathan was a dear friend. I am lost in knowing how to help his widow. She knows nothing of us or the plan. It's best that I do nothing at present. I shall miss him. Jonathan, wherever you are, your thoughts must comfort her tonight. She'll be waiting, and you will not return. Farewell, my friend. Mr. Ages, is anybody home? Go away! Mr. Ages! What is it? Mr. Ages, may I please speak to you? What? I said, may I please speak... <coughs> <gasps> ...with you. Oh, thank goodness. I'm so glad you're home. <coughs> Confounded machine. You never know when it's going to up and blow. Yes. I don't suppose you would remember me. Yes, you're Mrs. Brisby. And I'm sorry about your husband's death. Now, if you'd excuse me. Mr. Ages! Great Jupiter woman, what do you want? Mr. Ages, I know you don't like visitors, but this is an emergency. Please. <laughs> Matt, 
Madam, that is an emergency. Oh, Mr. Aegis, my son Timothy is so sick. Timmy? The one with the spider bite? Uh, oh, just give him some pips, just a No! And... No, he's sick with a fever. Uh, well, I suppose I could fix up something. Oh, thank you. Uh, follow me, but don't touch anything. Understand? No, I want to...